Um, I'm guessing everyone can see my screen here. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I can see it. So um, there's a couple of things I did, um, which I didn't add into this uh, demo. The first thing I did was uh, to, to, to get a market maker set up, obviously you have to have a wallet. And so I have this wallet, um, demo MM, and I created that wallet by doing this command. First, um, let me just like go to uh, Solana uh, config, Solana. Um, yeah, actually, before before I proceed, there's there's two ways to kind of run this, um, and there's a there's this quick start guide which I link to in my tweets, but I don't think I added to the Dev Meet agenda. There's two there's two ways to do this. Um, in the quick start guide that Jeff uh, wrote, there's the Docker way, um, but I am kind of a noob on Docker things and. Uh, I, I get scared off by complexity and new products. So there's the other way, which is just run it, you know, as a Python command in your, um, in your terminal. Um, and so that's the way I'm gonna be demoing. Uh, but, to, but to get set up, uh, there are, you know, to get set up on get setting up the wallets and like the accounts and all that, um, those instructions are there in the quick start. But basically what I did was this command, right? Um, and I, I will, I will after this call, just make, like, sort of transcribe these commands over. Uh, Solana keygen new, um, out file, you know, let's call it demo2.json or something. Um, what, what I actually called it was uh, demo mm.json, but whatever. Have a new one and no password and you know this is this is the the key pair obviously i'm not going to share the you know the actual one um, cuz it has an actual money in it now uh, and then and then you have this like key pair and you take it and copy it and uh, on, on phantom you can do this import private key thing, paste, call it whatever, you know, cool. Uh, that's, that's basically the prep that I did before this. And then you fund it with money, so on and so forth. Okay, um, let's go into our, our demo folder. And the first step you want, first thing you wanna do is clone this repo. Um, get SSH git clone there we go mango explorer mango explorer go into that repo and um actually oh sorry okay i think we got rid of the v3 branch or no probably not actually uh, Jeff, did we, uh, do we get rid of the V3 branch? We did not. It's, you still need to switch to V3. Okay. Okay. I, I think then I just, cool. Um, so I switch into V3 and just, I don't know, let's make sure everything's up to date. There, I have a, I have a bunch of, um, commands here that I will be applying one by one in to run this. A little bit janky, but whatever. Jeff has a, has a much nicer, cleaner thing with um, Docker, but stuff that scares me. So. Sorry, what? What was that? Okay, I, 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 yeah, I, I guess if you have background stuff. Um, 
actually, yeah, let's, let's first, so once you've imported it, and once you've, you know, you've downloaded the repo and everything, um, oh God, my USDC is losing value. Yeah. Of course it's losing value. It's always losing value at an incredible rate. So um, anyway, so you connect, um, this is alpha.mango.markets. You'll, you'll get access to this quickly. I mean, it's like, we'll remove the password on Tuesday, um, but, but yeah, there's a, there's a password on, on this website. And you start off by depositing some money. There we go. I put my thousand USDC in there, deposit. Um, I like to just go look at it. Okay, it's gonna take some time. Um, you could see I have, uh, <laughs> I've already lost um, one E negative six USDC. Maybe it was a rounding issue, but we have the fund. We, we, we have it funded. We have the account funded. And basically that's it. You know, um, now, now the Mango Explorer should be able to pick up everything now that we have this account funded. Um, so here, first step, we want to put the secret key into the environment variable. And also Jeff, stop me if anything I'm doing is like has changed, uh, but this is. This no, is... it's all fine. It's just, uh, I think Git scares people as well. And uh, that was one of the reasons for Docker. They're going to get scared by one technology. True. Uh, True. So, but yeah, it's pick fine. Your, pick, pick your scary bad man technology. But um, yeah, honestly, but if you're, if you're scared about those things, uh, if you're scared by both GitHub and by Docker, then maybe this is not for you. <laughs> Consider, you know, this is not something you should be doing. Um, so I'm fine with that. Uh, we move into the bin folder, uh, which has a bunch of the executables. And again, I, I'm scared by technologies, so I just replace the you know, Jeff is using Piston instead of Python to make it faster, but I just do a symbolic link and get rid of it. Um, let's, and then finally, we have the actual command that'll start the market maker. Um, your previous command hasn't finished yet. It's oh, asking for your password. Yeah, sorry. Right. Okay. So it already exists. I've already done the link. So th this already exists, but in your machine. Right. Not. Yeah. Please mute yourself or uh, does, am I the only one with the authority to mute people? Like you can give it to me also. You can probably do, do I have to give you a, uh, yeah. And co-host or something. Okay. Well, hopefully, hopefully people do it. If it happens again, I'll give it to you. I don't know, demo MM, I'm gonna call this. Um, I skipped the pre-flight checks, but maybe you shouldn't. I don't know, I just skip it. Um, we choose the market, the Oracle provider. Um, just as an explanation for what this does, it's using the pith Oracle as the fair value you know, the, 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 the mid, if, if, you've, if you've watched my previous video on uh, how to create a market maker strategy, I think, I think that was back in April. Um, you know, I go into sort of like the basics of a market maker strategy. And so the midpoint that the market maker uses to market make around is the pith oracle. Um, and I think that's the only one supported, but no. There are three oracles you can use. You can use FTX. It streams prices from the WebSocket and FTX very, very quickly. Mm -hmm. uh, you can use Serum. It will look at the underlying Serum market and get the mid price and the spread. But Pith is the only one that provides a confidence interval. Yeah. And we use the confidence interval in 
some of yeah. the market making to decide where to put the, the levels? Yeah. So, so yeah, so, you know, I recommend using that. And basically you can just copy this over. Um, you know, I'm just trying to explain some of the params here that we can adjust, but um, this, this one is, I use it 0.1. It just means, it just means um, uh, point 0.1 of my account size. So, to, you know, uh, my account is $1,000. So it'll quote a hundred dollars on each side. Um, very simple. Uh, let, let me, and I'll, I'll tweak some of these parameters later. Um, did I put my key in there? Yeah, put my key in there. Oh, uh, already got an error. Big US option. Cluster could yeah, match cluster change. Name. Change cluster to cluster name. Ah, okay. So param change. No problem. These things, you know, if you get pull, uh, you never know what happens. Um, that's fine. Okay. It's just loading up, loading up. I'm just thinking about that time uh, Elon Musk had that demo of his like unbreakable car window, he, like threw a rock at it and it broke. Um, yeah, that's like, yeah. If something breaks, I will that. tell you not to try it again because breaking the second window, I think was a really bad bit of the, the demo. Oh, I didn't know there were two windows broken. Yeah, yeah. He, tried, he said, let's try it again, see if it happens again. <laughs> and it happened <Yeah>. again. <laughs> Uh, honestly, I would do the same, but okay. So here, here we have the market maker running, um, you know, uh, so some of the cool things you'll just see it in the UI that we have, uh, two quotes. Mm, it's kind of hard to see like 744. Yeah, we're right there. And we're also at the best offer right now. So we are the best offer. So if someone wants to trade against us, that makes sense. And um, MNGO rewards are being accrued very slowly, but they are being accrued. And okay, so just don't be scared by how slow these are. Like this is currently set to one MNGO per, um, per hour. And it's a little bit messed up because I had another market maker running and there was more liquidity on this book and et cetera, et cetera. So th this, this looks, this is un unnaturally low uh, for right now. Um, but just expect this thing to be like, um, well, at least a thousand times more, but even more because, you know, um, uh, yeah, the, the book, the, the rates and everything will be adjusted. Um, yeah, there's not that much more to it. I mean, you just, you ran the command. Um, I, I have like the, all the extensive logging on, but here first, well, let's turn this off. Um, it'll cancel your orders, but if it doesn't, you know, better to, to go double check anyway. Um, yeah, see, I'm not sure if that's like a user interface issue here or because um, if I try to cancel these orders, yeah, yeah, it's, it, it was a user interface issue. Um, we'll make that a little bit more snappy. Um, we can change some of these parameters. So, okay, this is a conf confidence interval level. Like if you wanted to quote four, orders or six orders, or let's say two orders on each side, then you can just add another level here. Um, the first level will be half of a pith confidence interval, um, confidence interval. The second order will be like one or two, you could say two here. Um, the minimum charge ratio, so it's basically how much do you want to charge on each side? So if, if it was four, you know, it'll be like eight bips. 
um, eight bips spread total and four, four bips on each side. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Maybe, I mean, I, I had it set very aggressively, but maybe like this is better. I actually have no idea what's a good number to charge because I have some experience with market making um, in regular markets where you don't really have liquidity mining turned on. So uh, you have some DMM program where they give you like a slightly better, you know, they give you slightly better fees, they give you fee rebates, but it's not at all anything like the liquidity mining. So I don't have good intuition on this, but let's say 10 bips here. Um, and then this quote position bias parameter is um, basically for every one size unit. So for us, that's $100. How many, how many bips do you want to move um, uh, up or down? So like if I have, if I have a long position of uh, $100, then if, and my quote position bias is four bips, then it'll move my, my uh, bids and my offers down by four bits. So that's, that's the idea with this one. And we will, uh, I don't know, five bits. Just change stuff around. I'm just gonna get rid of this log. And we'll run it again. Actually, let's I also think increase the size, yeah? I think your confidence interval level parameter is wrong. If you want to specify ah. 0.5 and 2, you need to specify confidence interval level 0.5 and confidence interval level 2. Oh, okay, that's how it works. Yeah, I didn't actually, I didn't actually test that before, but confidence. So, like this, huh? Like this. Yeah. Yes. And let's try it. Forty eight ten. Yep, so we got some quotes up. This thing so so we, we spent a lot of time optimizing it so it looks good on the UI when you place an order or not uh, you know when you place an order when you're trading on the UI. Um, but if you're trading from a command line, like the UI doesn't know that it needs to refresh your open order stuff. So, um, and of course, all the attendant, there, there's generally things are a little bit harder to do on chain, things cost a little bit more. But, uh, yeah, so you just have, you know, just have more orders now, um, more bids on the book. E Ah, that's such a small energy rewards, but please, please don't be scared by how small it is. Okay, so we redeemed it. Do we get it in our balance? Yeah, there we go. So we got MNGO into our balance. Um, but just, you know, multiply these numbers by like a thousand. I think you'll, <laughs> you'll get the idea. 